Now we will study the third case and which is the very important case. If there is a shell or a conducting sphere, we give charge to it, the charge is distributed only on the surface and inside there is no charge. Okay. Inside material is there but the charge is zero neutral. Now we want to find out electric field at a point which is inside it P. Okay. Now the distance R which has reduced it had become equal to R and it is now further reduced and it is now this R. Here in this case the point is at a distance r and this r is smaller than r. Okay, this is the case. Now we start our calculation exactly in the same manner. First, draw a Gaussian surface. So I draw a symmetrical surface taking r on both sides and let us draw a concentric sphere. So, this is a concentric sphere and this is our Gaussian surface. It is an imaginary surface, okay. So, what is uh, electric field on this surface and uh, how I plan it? Yes, we start the calculation because this calculation is a very short calculation. Our calculation for Gaussian purpose is that closed integral EDS is equal to Q upon epsilon naught. We can sum up very shortly. What is this Q? According to Gauss theorem, this Q is the charge inside the Gaussian surface. In this particular case, in this case charge within the surface, charge within Gaussian surface is a big zero. Yes. See this charge is outside, this charge is outside, this charge is outside. So inside how much is the charge? There is no charge. So it is zero. If this has become 0, that is Q is equal to 0 in this equation. If this Q is equal to 0, then EDS is equal to 0. So multiplication of these two quantities is 0. Out of So either E should be 0 or DS should be 0. Now, what is ds? This is area. Integration of ds is not 0. Area has certain finite value. So I will write mathematically since integral ds is not 0 then who has to be 0? E has to be 0 because either of the two can be 0. But we have shown that ds is not 0 confirmed. So what is then confirmed? That E is 0. Therefore, E is equal to 0. That means electric field at P is 0. Now, if I take this P here, then this will be my Gaussian surface. Again, inside, no charge. If P is here, very close to surface but inside, just touching the surface, even then if I draw a Gaussian surface, this charge lies outside the surface. So inside the surface there is no charge. So even if my Gaussian surface touch it inside that means point P is inside it. Just touching the surface this is outer, this is inner and this is the point P at this point. Even then if I draw another shell from here the charge is outside there is no charge inside. So here again electric field is 0 that means for this complete distance and anywhere 
point P is electric field is 0. This is a very important concept we have to understand that if there is a metal conductor which has got charge then inside the metal conductor electric field is 0. How we can say that? How we can prove that? Remember the answer it is by Gauss theorem. So, which concept of electricity proves that inside the metal inside a charged metal electric field is 0? Our answer is it is Gauss theorem which proves that electric field inside a charged metal is 0. 